Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So inside today's video, what I'll actually be doing is making a low poly or cartoony chess inside of Blender and also Roblox Studio. So a few things I'd like to mention about this channel is my Discord server. I post new videos, some of my work, and also I have a community there if you guys want to talk to them. Um, I also like to mention my Twitter. I post uh, my work there. Some of the uh, work that I post, you guys might enjoy it. And if you're there, please give me a follow. I really appreciate it. Also, just make sure to like and subscribe so that guys could uh, put on some new videos. Oh yeah, also make sure to turn on the bell. Uh, just get notified about new videos. And yeah, let's get right into the video. So right here, I'm inside of Blender. First thing you're gonna do is just select the beautiful cube, go into edit mode, bring the top down just a bit, just like this. Actually, yeah, that's good. And then just duplicate it, extrude up a bit, just like that. Bring this up a bit, a bit more. Um, and then what you're gonna do is just you're gonna build with this. Actually, you're gonna build right here. In the front and the back. So just like that. Hold up. There you go. Yeah, this should be good. Just add two segments to it. And out there, what you're gonna do is actually just select this again. And scale it in side on the Y axis. So it looks just like this. Let me just bring this down a bit. After that, you're just gonna duplicate it, scale it inside with an S, and then bring it out here. So just like this. Um, let me just bring this up. So it's actually inside the chest. This is just like uh, extra detail to the chest. And then uh, what I actually recommend is is um that you select the faces of the chest actually um what i actually recommend is beveling it first wait yeah beveling Hold up. just bevel the edges just like that and yeah bevel the edges just like this make it to one and do the same thing for the bottom part and the top part Just like that. Bevel it. And then what I recommend is just getting these faces. All these. And just go over here on the top and bring it to individual origins. So extrude, scale it inside. And then come back to medium point, extrude it inside. Or I actually recommend going outside and then go back to individual origins, scale it in just like that and scale it out a bit more just like that. Yeah, just scale this in uh, just a tiny bit more with uh, individual origins and back to medium point, scale it in. Uh, yeah, actually I recommend it just being like this. Just bring this part up here. And I would just be a uh, base, and yeah, there you go. So after you've done that, what you're actually gonna do is just separate this part from the rest of the uh, thing. So I recommend just going into the third, I mean, the center, center of the select mode, the box in the center, whatever, you whatever you call it, and just press V to just uh, remove this. So over here, just select this with all and left. I press V, so you just uh, disconnect it from it. And I go up here, Alt, Left, V to disconnect it. So it's now just this cube, in which I could just press P selection to remove it. Oh yeah, I also forgot to do these. So let me just fix this. V, select, Control O, selection P, remove it. Um, and also do it for uh, this this side too. V, select it, P, selection. Just like that. And just group uh, 
these parts together so just like that and for now what I'm just gonna, just gonna do is separate the box from the metal part and we're going to make the gold for chest the gold part for chest um so first thing for this part what you're gonna do is actually you're gonna extrude and not extrude uh, add two loop cuts scale it out bring it down just like this not too much just a bit down and bring the center uh, down a bit so just like that and then what you're gonna do is just like the edges the edge face actually add a loop cut and add another loop cut too select this face and select uh, these edges uh, go back to this and it should select these uh, parts of, of the treasure chest and you're gonna extrude it just like that so for this part what you're actually gonna do is just select it uh, bevel extrude just like that scale it up just like this and try to scale it in so this will be the gold part of the treasure chest and then now what you're gonna do is actually go to the bottom part and just for this part what you're actually gonna do is just bevel the edges so like over here I'll just bevel this control B to bevel make sure the segment is on one and then it will allow me to select the faces so just like that and then I could just go back to individual origins scaled in and then extrude it in so just like that actually not nah, that's not good um what I actually recommend for this one is add loop cut to scaled out uh, just align it with this this part uh, there you go and I'm just gonna extrude it again so for for this part only this only the bars not not this face so just select this just like that and extrude bring it down scale it on the x-axis just like that and what you're gonna do is just extrude up scale it in with uh, individual origins just like that bring this down a bit just like this and then just extrude it by select just select all the faces first and then extrude it <clears throat> yeah just like this and it should be good let me just make sure to bring this in a bit more just like that and I'm gonna do the same thing for the center so for the center what I actually what I'm actually gonna do is just this locate it uh, bring it over here actually I'm just gonna do this scale it in with the x axis axis there you go it's like uh, the center part extrude actually duplicate then extrude let me scale this in and bring this up let me just scale this in there you go so yeah just like this so when you have something like this what you're gonna do is just uh, select this part and duplicate it around just like that and also bring it here I'll bring it to the back so yeah just like that and for this part I'm just gonna fix it up real quick right bring, just bringing it up here you go and then you're gonna select this part you're gonna make the uh, key lock so SZ actually no no yeah we're gonna make the key lock so SZ 
make sure to also duplicate this as you bring it over here to center uh scale this down extrude and then what you're gonna do is just uh center this just with just like that and then what you're gonna do is i'm just gonna bevel this so similar to this and then what you're gonna do is just scale this in like that extrude it in there we go so yeah that's how you make a chest inside of blender another thing that i also like to recommend is just adding um a bar to the center like hold up just add something that uh goes through the whole uh the the whole treasure chest so like this i'm just gonna go here uh there we go and i'm just gonna extrude bring it up also i'm gonna scale on the x-axis i mean y-axis let me fix this there you go Uh, let me see uh, it didn't work but yeah I recommend doing something like that which uh, helps out your model a lot yeah, I think this is good and then let me just look in the back there you go there and that, sh that should be it uh, this is what it's supposed to look like I also recommend uh, shade smoothing, but for this one, I'm not going to shade smooth it because I just think it looks better low poly. Um, I'm going to import it into Roblox Studio real quick, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. And yeah, I'll be back. So over here, I have the chest inside the studio. First thing I'll actually do is just select the gold part, um, which I'll just color it like that. Uh, I'm going to make the uh, gold just a bit like oh, orange color, just like this, and also just move the brightness a bit. Actually yeah just like this and then the brown what are you actually gonna do is just make it like kind of a yeah just like this just leave the brown alone uh for this part just uh do it like that and also for the inside just make it dark and then for this part what i actually recommend doing is just making uh the center part a different color from the, the outside part if that makes sense um so i'll just select this um, there you go and i'm gonna make it the same color and i'll just make it uh, a much more lighter version and yeah that's how you make a low poly chest inside a blender into robot studio and yeah let me know your guys thoughts uh, make sure to check out my discord server and also to like and subscribe check out some of my other videos also sorry for like of uploading I've just been busy with some stuff um, I'll be posting three videos each week now and yeah thank you for watching bye